get bored. I'm hungry. Are you going? Yeah. Are those your real eyebrows? No, no, they're caterpillars that just wandered onto my forehead. Huh. I'm hungry too. What about you, Peter? What do you want? Oh, you got some. Of course, bread. I'm hungry. You got you got some bread on you, Peter bread. Can somebody say hooray, 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 hooray! No, none for you, none for you, no. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Welcome to the Hunger Games. Welcome, boys and. Uh, Cadness. Cat piss. To the next Hunger Games. The prize. An egg I found in the back alley. All right. Well, you still hungry, right? Uh, no. Uh, fucking skinny ass mother. We're gonna play some games here. The objective, kill each other. Last person to not kill each or to not die gets to eat the chips. How's that? You're the worst game master I've ever had in the two years! The two years! The, I've done this! I was Shut the, up! I was the game Shut master. Up. I was the game master. I'll tell you what. Kill kill him. Start off with that. We'll do that. I we can pick, pick up the spice, you know? We're supposed to be lovers. Uh, Alright, then kiss him. Uh, oh, yeah, go. oh my god. Oh my god. Holy. Do I get food now? Holy sh shit. I didn't think you were actually gonna. Actually kill them. Yeah, that's what you said. I'm a grizzled vet here. That's fucked up. Hey, I have the bow now. Hey, bow the tables have turned. Give me bitch. my bow back. Give me my bow back. You don't even have arrows. There are no arrows. In oh, 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 the irony! The irony! Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> oh, shit. That's what you get? Hunger Game Champion three years? I have deserved this. I deserve this. I deserve this. Prim! Prim! I was gonna clean this shit up. I guess the. How the fuck is he alive? How the fuck is he alive? I'm not really dead either. I'm not really dead. You can all go fuck yourself. I Alexander. Alexander. Hope you guys die in a car accident. Oh, hey. 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 That's my trigger. Hey. What is April Fools. Is that an Xbox One? You're allowed to take that. Hey, that's, a, that's that? an office Xbox hey, where'd you get One. That? Alex, <laughs> that's, that's, Alex, that's creature's property. What? Alex. Alex, we're in a car. You can't run from us. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's on the meeting. You can't. <laughs> he's still running. Look at him go. He's still going. Where is he? Oh, oh there he is. I see. I see him. He's 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 he's, he's, he's under the light post. Right? Uh, oh! I don't know. I kinda he's lost flipping him. us off. Flipping hey! Hey! Enjoy your Xbox, douchebag! Well, anyway, we're on our way. <laughs> Spencer was like. <laughs> anyway, is that what I look like when I'm filming? No, I'm, I'm like? more called action. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh! Um, it's like Call of Duty. I, here. <laughs> we're on our way to the Hunger Games uh, Mocking Jay Part 1, right? Yeah, you know that's what it's called. So. Uh, what, what's everybody's history with the Hunger Games franchise, Kevin? Uh, being that I have never watched any of the Hunger Games movies before, or read any of the books, I think that tonight is going to be a very, uh, enlightening night. Hmm. Well, the movies are very, like, it goes up and then there's a tease at the end and then it continues on the next one, so you'll be fine. Yeah. Um. I, I won't get 
even a full story. In this we'll one. go in order of experience. So I'll go next. I uh, am a big fan of the Hunger Games. Uh, I watched the beginning of the first one three times um, until today when I actually sat through and watched it all the way through. Um, but I didn't have enough time to finish the second one. I only got about a third of the way through, which sucks because it's such a good movie. It is really good. Um, so I had to have Jordan run down the story to me uh, of the, the of how the second one ends. So and then I went back and watched the ending, just like the last ten minutes. Um, don't know what happened during the actual Hunger Games part, but you know, I got I got I got enough to portray Philip Seymour Hoffman's character. Correctly, I believe. Yeah, um, I'd say yeah, so. I think you did a great job. I think Thank I did you. a pretty good job doing PETA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what'd you do? I got stabbed. Uh, yeah, that's and PETA. then I. That's PETA. That is then PETA. He food. did get stabbed in the first one. I do remember. And then that I got one. food and stole a weapon. So yeah, that, that that was my experience with the Hunger Games. Jordan, uh, how about you? Well, never read any of the books. Never really cared to, but I have seen the first and second Hunger Games multiple times. Ooh. So probably like two or three times each. Um, you know, I think they're pretty pretty decent movies. They're not too bad, not too bad. I think the only thing that really frustrates me about the Hunger Games is in the training rooms. The amount of pointless garbage they do in those training rooms like before. Like fish hooks. Like making fish hooks. Like <laughs> sitting there and matching the stupid leaves <laughs> of the stupid, like, stuff like that. And then, like, just showing off to, to each other. Oh, look at me. Fishing. I can, you know, do this stupid thing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we'll see how long you last. They always die instantly. So, anyway, that's the only really thing that, that bugged me. I mean, Thor's brother's in there. Mr. Liam Hemsworth, um, he's a cool guy. And then my experience, if I had read one book, and then I've seen the first two movies a lot as well. So yeah, me and Jordan are about on par, I'd say. Except you read the book. Yeah, but I think you've seen the first and second movie more than I have. Yeah, probably. Because I've only seen the second one twice. Anyway, uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty fun movie. Directed by the same guy who directed the second one. That's my favorite uh, director. Yeah, we'll know. see. We'll see. It's it's Kevin's favorite director. What's what's the director's name? Uh, Liam Neeson. No. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's. No, Liam it's, I think it. I think it's, it's the Liam Neeson. Yeah. Francis. He did uh, Francis Lawrence. Taken Three as well. Yeah. No, he did the, the, the Bad Romance Lady Gaga music video. He did. He did. He also did Green Day's Warning music video. Yeah, yeah. Huh. The director hmm. of this film. Well, this is gonna be garbage. And I am Legend and Constantine. <laughs> These eyebrows are in memory of Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> you know, he was... From the movie I was watching, he was more... Uh, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. In this one, he was a bit more yeah. lively. Well, he was kind of like... I don't know. Well, he, he was seemed so, like the comic relief. He, he was much in, the, in his element in this Yeah, movie. he wasn't so much... So droll in this one. The other one was like... You're going to need her... You know... You show floggings, and then you show the wedding cake, uh, and then you show executions, executions, and then you show her her buying her dress. Like that was how he spoke you in that movie. And this one is just like, "Hey, Katniss, can you do this?" Can you do? Like he was speaking more normally in this one. So he was in his element. He was pretty good. He had to play character for Snow. That's true. He seemed very bored. I would say like your eyebrows are actually pretty spot on. When They're I was pretty... when I was doing my wig earlier, the wig one... looks really bad. Can you do one eyebrow up? Oh, I gotta. Ooh, <laughs> that's perfect. My hair's all fucked up, but um, when I was doing my wig earlier, I, I really I examined the image uh, of him from the the last movie, and I tried to part the hair properly. If I had a brush, it would have been. Perfect, I did that with but... Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you really was like, like method. You you was were like asking for on. somebody to pull up a picture. Yeah, and then I pulled one up myself because nobody did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, everyone. Yeah, sometimes you have to do your own research for your own roles. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. that is true. Sometimes it's more You'll convenient. You'll learn that with more movie nights as you go down. So you have to be a method actor to really I mean, envelop I, yourself inside. I put on movies. mustaches as eyebrows. Sometimes you gotta go ham. Anyway, uh, what did we think of the movie, gentlemen? Hmm. You've Kevin. never seen any. I want to. I want to hmm. get Kevin's like. No, he hasn't seen anything. Didn't know anything going in really. You know, I think that was actually. Uh, that one was obviously just a slower. To kind of, kind of a get you, movie. get you more built up to anticipating the uh, second one, I'd say. 
So, mm, it does make me want to see the other ones, though. I can say that. I would say in terms of length, though, like, it could have been one movie, but I feel like it would have been, like, Return of the King-sized movie if it was. Yeah. I had to, uh, yeah, I'd lean over to you during the movie, and I was like, there were a couple scenes they could have easily oh, cut. Yeah. I felt like I was watching uh, half a movie just really drawn out, which is essentially what it is. Yeah. It's like the final Harry Potter a little bit. I haven't seen that. Then. Have you seen any of the Harry Potters? I have. Okay. Yeah, everything books. except for the last one. You haven't seen the last movie, but you've seen all the other movies? Just like how I've seen every season of Dexter except the last season. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, supposedly okay. you could skip that one, I've, yeah, I've heard. Kind of... I've watched a lot of yeah. seasons. I, no, I actually watched every season except for the last can, one as well. After watching, uh, like, what is it, the five seasons? Or is the fifth the last one? No, it's no, seven they're... seasons total. Oh. Well, after watching the sixth season, it's just... I can kind of guess what goes down. Jordan, what do you think? Oh, Kevin, please. Well, I have to say, it's a good movie, but, mm. but, mm. it's quite like Kevin and everyone else has come to the conclusion that it was rather slow. Um, not nearly as much. Um... Needed more child killing. No, there was plenty of child killing. In yeah, there was plenty of child yeah, killing. Yeah, there was a lot of I'm sorry, there was a lot of Tommy coming killing. out a little bit. Oh. <sighs> Uh, well, but, I mean, yeah, I, I'd say, yeah, I, I mean, I like the, probably the second movie was quite a bit better. Um, it's still good, like, I'm not saying it's bad or anything, because it, it was kind of, uh, you know, if you were to watch the last, the, the third part in one part, you know, if they didn't split it in two parts, like the have been for every, you know, movie under the sun, I would say that, you know, it'd be, you know, the slow build-up that works into the massive finale and all that, because it was slow, but it was, you know, some pretty important stuff that goes into building a rebellion, a successful rebellion, that is. So, if I were ever to hold a rebellion, that's kind of how I'd do it. <laughs> Jordan, I was take, Jordan was taking notes during the movie, actually. He pulled out his phone and it had, like, a note app, and he was just like, oh, rebellion. Okay, so <laughs> Propaganda. In case the others try to rebel against me. Yeah. Creature rebellion. Yeah, yeah the, I, I kind of get what Jordan was saying, because I only watched a third of the second movie, like only about a third of the length, and I was a lot more engrossed in the second movie than this one kind of starting off, because the first one left off with such a place where it was like, this is immediately interesting to me, but at the same time it was moving at a better pace. It had more impactful things early on. This movie seemed like Jordan's like drawn out and kind of slower to start and pick up. Basically, they could have cut a lot of things out and then just put it all into one movie and it would have been like a regular movie. What was really weird about it Did is from the end of the second movie into this movie, there's... A really sharp drop off in the mental stability of all of the, the the people that were in the Hunger Games. Yeah. Like Finnick and Katniss were the main two. Both ended up like at the end of the movie, you know, Finnick's at the war table, just like, you know, like, hey Katniss, this is the rebellion. And then all of a sudden it's just like <laughs> and he's sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering at the start of this if it was going to be like, is this like they're imagining everything? Like, yeah, what's happening? Was, and that? then, yeah, Katniss obviously mentally there was broken. Some, there were some dream things in there. Yeah, there's some dreaming. Well, there's I mean, dreaming. considering the last shot of the last movie, she would have, she seemingly snapped so much. Yeah, she was really pissed. I can understand yeah, Katniss. Up. It was more authentic, though. It seemed like he would just out of nowhere... But I mean, there was something. Yeah. Where have I seen that actor from? That guy looked really familiar. Finnick. I agree. I don't know. Finnick. Yeah, he was super familiar. To well, me. let me just pull up my trusty, dusty. <sighs> trusty iPhone five. I am. Five. I am the Look, I found a caterpillar on the ground. There's a little. What was your opinion, Daniel? Um, I enjoyed it quite a bit, uh, even though I hadn't finished the the other one. Um, I uh, I felt with the information that I had, I had enough to go in and actually understand what was going on. Um, I definitely want to go back and watch the rest of the second one now, because um, there's a lot of reference. What did you find it? Uh, no, not yet. I was too busy digging around. <laughs> oh, I threw a caterpillar. Stupid out. Mockingjay ad! Get out of here. There's a Mockingjay <laughs> ad while he's trying to look up the credits for Mockingjay. Um, yeah, ultimately it was it was a, you liked it, Dan. It was a pretty good movie. Yeah, didn't you? Um, you really liked it. Well, I was saying I liked it though. So ten out of ten. Are you trying to get me to say I don't like it because that's the opposite of what what? Ten out of ten. 10 IGN. out of 10. I think the, the consensus is it's good, 
Yeah. Not amazing, oh, but yeah. crucial in yeah. the building of the final uh, saga. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like that uh, that with Jordan. I'll, I'll get your opinion in a second. Uh, sorry, I thought, Spencer, I thought you okay. finished. So I was like, Jordan's criticizing the movie, which uh, we all are. But it's it's funny and ironic that Jordan is criticizing a movie that was split into two movies based on one relatively long book, and then he's super excited, for the super excited for a thin ass book that's been split into three movies, <laughs> The Hobbit: Desolation of Smaug. We saw a trailer for it. We're both incredibly excited for it. Dan, that doesn't that doesn't count. That's true. They're using outside sources, the Cinderellian, and, and creating new stories with the Hobbit. I mean, you can't really. Oh, interesting. interesting. Oh, Jordan, it, it's on the tip of my tongue. Whatever the fuck he's from. What? What, what do you think he's from? Jordan, I have an IMDb app. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you. Hold. Oh. Huh? Um, oh shit! Huh? His face is so familiar. I mean, what kind of setting do you think you know him from? <laughs> I I have no idea. It's I'm blanking. I'd help you here, but I... Is he English? Cause I, th- I don't I th- watch it. I, for some reason, whatever I thought he was in, he was English. Would you kidding stop me? it? Would you stop it? Can you Ipswich. give me a hint? He's from his Ipswich, Suffolk. So yes, England. Okay, yeah, I figured whatever I saw him, he... Well, he's known for Snow White and the Huntsman. No, I didn't see that. Which you've never seen. I've seen that movie. I don't the Hunger that. Games, Catching Fire. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Which you is, saw, you know... You've seen him there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see him in there, but I saw him in this. The big one. Oh, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, he was oh, that... he's in love with the mermaid. Oh, uh, he was the, he I, was I, the I, priest. I watched half of that movie. I could I he remember was the it. priest. I don't remember that movie. Otherwise, he's been in only that, 17. That's movies. what I saw him from. 17. 17 videos. 17 oh, movies. I think there was a movie 17. Um, otherwise, absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, well that was that it. Movie? It was Pirates. It was Pirates. I just forgot. Yeah, it was Pirates. I've seen too. that movie, but I don't remember I've seen Sorry and the Huntsman. I don't know what he was in that movie. The Huntsman. <laughs> uh, no, that no, that was actually Chris Thor. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Was you know they're doing a spinoff of just the Huntsman. Just with Thor. It's like a prequel sort of deal. <gasps> anyway, okay, Spencer, what did you think of the movie? He lost his job in the regular one. Yeah. He yeah. can't be the womanly Thor he needs to be. Now, see, that's a separate Thor there, Kevin. Yeah. The Thor universe was split in two. Thor, it's, it's replaced. It was split in two, Kevin. There. The Thor universe had the boy Thor and the girl Thor. Are you Thor from just thinking about it? I thought it it was mythology. Anyway, uh, Um, what do you think of the movie? So I have to agree with uh, Jordan. I the second movie is much more enjoyable to watch. Yeah. Just because this movie is so goddamn depressing. Like, I enjoyed this movie a lot, but like. Have you seen the second movie? Yeah, I've seen it a lot. Spencer, one second before you get going any farther. I just found out that the tagline for Mockingjay Part One is, "Fire burns brighter." In the darkness. Ooh. Let that sink in a little bit before you do your review. <sighs> okay. Well, well now my, re- my review is different. you were just now. talking about how depressing it was. Fire burns brighter in a depressing state, seemingly. See, I feel like I would agree with that statement if I had seen part two means... with it as well, because then I could see the fire kind of oh, blossom a bit. If you saw bit. part two with it as well, that wouldn't have been part two. That would have been the one movie. Yeah, I know. I would have sat there for five hours just to see the fire burn a bit brighter in the darkness. But what if they're not talking about a fire? What if they're talking about like a rebellion blossoming? What if they're saying? talking about a rash? Ooh. Or a rash. that burns that burns more in the darkness than or like in the like suffocated darkness. Oh. It felt very dark the entire time, and there was really only one action sequence with Katniss. And I don't know, like I kind of have this problem with The Legend of Korra as well, where they have their main character kind of just struggling the entire time, and like you just see like the main character like you have so much admiration for kind of broken down. The hero's struggle. I know, and I can I can understand a hero's struggle if I see them like recover at some point, but like. It's half a movie. It's half a mo- well. I know it's half a movie. <laughs> there but is no uplifting, like, uh, no overcoming part yet. Before you go any farther, uh, one second. Is there another time. tagline? You I wanna... actually found. Uh, no, I found out that the guy that plays plays Peta was actually in Journey to the Mysterious yeah. Island with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Jordan, he was in both of them. Yeah, I know. I just want to put that. But what about the Rock Journey? What about Journey to the Center of the Earth with Brendan Fraser? Um, you know, Michael Caine was also in Journey too. Michael Caine. Well, um, Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Uh, my cocaine. Okay. Well, one second, one second, Spencer. <laughs> I also found out. I love my cocaine. That he was also part of a movie called Bridge to Terabithia. Ooh. Ooh, I actually I remember that movie. 2007 hit. 
Okay. I remember that. All right. Now, th well, that's the biggest thing, though, is, like, there's no resolve to this movie. It's clearly a part one. Like, it, well, it's like the first Harry Potter part where it's, like, it ends and you're just like, well, that was depressing. And there's, like, nothing really else to go. The other, yeah. the other two also end similarly, though. Yeah, but, like, the other two have these, like, I just feel like it's a completed segment, that part. Like, yes, it is leads it, Do you think without the knowledge almost... of it being one book, being split into two movies, do you think it might be different? No, because it'd still be depressing. There's no resolve. Like, it literally just ends. I'm, I guess I'm more critiquing the two-part method as a whole. Now, if you really get down to it. Spencer. Before you get on with that critique, I gotta stop you for a second. I found out that the guy that plays BD, you know, the guy that was yeah, in the wheelchair, like that was, uh, he's in Casino Royale. And he was in Quantum of Solace, though. Uh, no, I don't see that on here. He was, I see the, he was the same character. In Felix Source Lighting. Code. Oh, he played 2001, so, and The Banchurian Candidate. Oh, that's one of my favorite movies. Now, I guess, I'm, like I said, I'm critiquing... The Jeffrey Wright, by the way, was the name of the actor, Jordan. I don't know if you, you didn't clarify that, so... The two-part system as a whole. Yeah. I guess I'm really, like, I don't really favor it that much. It only I feel like on young adult adaptations. I know, but, like, this is a good young adult adaptation. This isn't no, like... Divergent or this, this Twilight. I'm pretty sure they're gonna if they ever get to a third Divergent movie, they'll say will. Into. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. Divergent didn't do particularly well, but they are making yeah. Insurgent. See, but like I like the main. Anyways, I like the main actress in Divergent. But aside from that, Shailene Woodley. Wood, yeah. Woodley. She's a good actress. But I did like the movie. I thought it was good. It's just I think I'll like it even more when the second part comes out. Now, before you finish your review, Spencer, oh, yes. I've got something else. So Natalie Dormer. Yeah. I like Natalie. You know Dormer. the girl that had you know the shaved half of her head. She had a cool tattoo. Um, she played in the 2013 hit Rush, with Chris, Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth which Liam Hemsworth, the brother of Chris Hemsworth, was in oh, Mockingjay. Oh, Jordan, 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 Jordan. Okay, so uh, uh, Natalie Dormer yeah. was in. Was in okay. Listen to this, Jordan. This is gonna blow your mind. Game of Thrones with Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage was in X Men: uh, oh. Days of Future's Past with uh, with uh, Jennifer Lawrence, and Jennifer Lawrence was in Hunger Games. Oh, oh. you just got wrecked. Oh. Woo! What do you have to say to that? I just went full circle, bitch. Yeah, I was just trying to look up some names. You guys took it to a whole new level, jerks. I know. That's what I do. I take it to another level. Oh. Anyway. But yeah, no, it was a good movie. I, would, I think it's worth the price of admission, like I said last time. So I think you should see it. I think it'll be even better when part two comes out, though. Okay. You think this movie will be even better when part two comes out, or you think part two will be even better? I think once, it, once I have this section of the story complete, it'll be wait, better. Wait, 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 wait. Before, before, Spencer, before you go ahead and submit your recommendation to see this, I'd like to mention that Robert Nepper, Robert Nepper, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Robert Nepper. Is there a Please. picture of him? Is there a picture of him? Robert Nepper. I mean, uh, James, if James is here, this would be perfect, but he's not. So <laughs> he actually played Teabag from Prison Break. Uh, he well, was you the know. commander, the army commander that President So was talking to at the beginning of the film. Oh, my God. <laughs> there he is right there. There's Robert Nepper. <laughs> okay, now it's kind of focused, so that works. <laughs> Spencer says this movie was worth the price of admission. I say if I saw that movie for free, I would have walked out of there been like, well, I know why that was free. Oh. 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 Oh, oh my God. Until I see the second part. Ah, there we go. Okay. Well, anyway. Natalie Dormer. Jennifer Lawrence. That's all you need. One yeah. second. That's all you one need. One second here. Let me interrupt Charles, your interview one more time. Charles Kronmuller. Charles Kronmuller. What the fuck are you talking about? Pilot number one. <laughs> Holy shit. His only filmography. <laughs> Is the Mockingjay Part One? Oh, he must know somebody on the production. He is actually a pilot. Oh, oh! It's got a picture of him right there. That's that's real life training right there. Hold on, that oh. is. Let me oh focus God. on him. Oh, look at that, Jordan. That's amazing. Now there's well, also. Thank you for your service, Christopher. There's uh, also a picture of him showing off yeah, his body. Stick up like ears. With ripped oh, abs. Oh my goodness! You see that? Oh my goodness! What's that tattoo? He looks like he has the rock tattoo. Uh, it looks like an eagle of some yeah. sorts. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you say anything more, Jordan, I swear I will cut you off mid-sentence. Uh, uh, well, thank you guys. We'll, we'll see you later. Uh, this has been a Creatures production uh, featuring uh, Golden Blackhawk, Dan, Dan, Tom Annex, Dan, one second, one second, Kevin, one Kevin second, Dan, uh, Dan. Uh, Jordan, Matthewson, Dan, Kutra, Katra, Dan, just so you know, uh, just so you know. Uh, and, 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 and I, Dan's News, Daniel Gilbert.
The girl that played Primrose. The girl bl- Oh! What? Huh? Uh. Oh. The girl that played Primrose Everdeen. She was in the Hunger Games! Oh. No, 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 no that's not her. Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was so good! Oh my for the credits thing. I mean, this kind of counts, but... <laughs> Wait one sec, let me do it one more time. What? That was it, yeah. Spencer. No, There's no other takes. Do one more. Do one more.